Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Um, today's topic, I wasn't going to do a show on, but it's it's getting a lot of talk about, especially across the pond in the UK. Uh, Dubois versus Joyce, this is not a fight I think it's going to be highly competitive. Um, it's a fight I'm looking forward to seeing, um, but not with the same vigor that uh, other people are. Um, other people thinking that this is going to decide who the best uh heavyweight contender is, so to speak, uh, who, who's going to take that step forward. Uh, well, I agree with that. I, I think the outcome is fairly obvious at this point. Um, you know, I'm going to put links into this. Uh, I'm going to put links from Dubois' fight against Gorman and um, Joyce's fight against Brian Jennings. Uh, Bye-bye Jennings. Probably the, you know, the best wins, the best performances of each guy's career, given the stage it was on. And the, um, y- y- y'all tell me who's better, who's more impressive. I mean, it's silly. I mean, I-, I I gave the comparison like, look, Um, and, uh, Joe Joyce's fight with Jennings. Just go back, watch it and tell me who you think is, is looks more impressive. Right. So I'm kind of getting, it's kind of like a spoiler alert. Like I'm kind of telling you who I think is going to win. Um, uh, but let's get into that. Um, and I, I've seen polls, you know, it, it's a minority, but there's 25, 30% of people who think Joe Joyce is going to win this fight. I, I've talked to some reasonable people. Who I think I, I know the sport. Well, you know, um, who, whose opinion I, I value. In the sport, and they think Joyce is gonna. Uh, they think Joyce is gonna. Win. I, I just don't understand it. Like how? Right? You go back and you watch Joyce against Jennings. Jennings is much smaller. Uh, you know, and he's, he's really too small to be in there. He's a good athlete. He's pretty quick. He's got some power, I suppose. Right? But and he's hitting and landing um, on Joyce. It just he doesn't. He's not big enough, strong enough to really get him out. Where Dubois is a better skilled boxer. He's mechanically better. He's fundamentally better. Then he's bigger, stronger, <laughs> much bigger puncher, right? So he's everything better, right? Um, so if Dubois hits him, hits uh, Joyce like like Jennings, it's over. And he, he'll hit him more often, right? Like you watch Dubois throw uppercuts on the inside, right? Um, and then he lands the right hand and the left hook from the outside. This guy is complete. And then he sets a physical force that you can't really stop him, right? 
Joe Joyce likes to come forward. He likes to pressure. He likes to throw jabs, right hands coming forward. You're going to walk forward into this guy. It's going to be night-night quickly, right? Like, real quickly. Gorman was off the back foot. Gorman tried to box him. It didn't really work because Dubois is a better boxer than he gets credit for. He's got a better jab than, you know, he's got a really good jab that I don't think a lot of people gave him credit for prior to that Gorman fight. Um, His right hand and his power shots are on the money. Um, he's a great closer. He's a fantastic closer. When he gets you hurt, it's like we're talking about Crawford being a great closer. You know, the heavyweight version of that, right? Like of closing like that. When the guy hurt, it's over. It's Dubois. I mean, Wilder's different because Wilder just hits you once and the fight's over. There's no need to finish, right? Like he hits you once with that right hand, and that's that's the finish, right? It's over. Uh, but uh, you know, Dubois will, will will buckle you and then hit you with a bunch of shots, and it's over. Um, so there's, there's no advantage in this fight. Like Joe Joyce is so slow. It's, this is still an athletic competition, right? And when one guy is clearly the superior athlete in every way, shape and form, the other guy, no matter how fundamentally good he is, it's not going to win, right? Like I could work on my form all day. I could dribble for hours. I'm never going to beat. Steph Curry in a game of one-on-one. Why? Because he's a world-class athlete and I'm not. All right, like, that's it. That's all there is to it. You know, it's still an athletic competition. And one guy has far more athleticism and more, more, way more foul po- firepower than the other guy. Like, I'm also going to put the Usyk fight there. Usyk, Joe Joyce from the World Series of Boxing. Go watch it. Watch what an athlete does to him. Now make that athlete 6'5", 250 with all world power. Right? And then, then you have Dubois. Dubois is going to steamroll this guy. Right, I mean, Joe Joyce shows all of his punches, right? Like everything is telegraphed and deliberate and slow. He's so slow, like he can't get out of his own way. Now you got a guy who can't get out of his own way, who who telegraphs every shows all of his punches against a wrecking ball like Daniel Dubois. How do you think this fight's gonna go? This is not Bryant Jennings in there. This is the heavyweight of his era. Or this is the next coming of the next great heavyweight. Like. This is a one-sided beatdown. I, I I don't think uh, Jennings. I mean Jennings. Joyce has much success, right? I don't think he lands a lot. I don't know how long he survives. If he's gonna come, he likes to come forward. If he does, I, I don't see this thing lasting more than four or five rounds. I'll say fifth rounds, and I think that's being generous. I think it ends quicker than that. If if, if Joyce is gonna be there to be hit like he has been with, um, say. Jennings, right? Like, he, he, he's there to be hit. He's going to get hit, and Dubois is going to wreck him. If they fight on the inside, Dubois is much, much more explosive. He's much quicker. He's, you know, he's going to rip that uppercut, and, and he's going to take Joyce's head off. If Joyce doesn't, if Joyce wants to box him on the outside, he's way too slow, and Dubois is going to rip his head off. Like, there's no path to victory for Joyce here. I don't, I, look, I understand Joyce won a silver medal. I understand there are things to like about Joyce. I'm not saying he's a bad fighter. I'm saying he's absolutely out of his league, absolutely out of his element. This fight's not close. It's not competitive. Daniel Dubois wins this fight in one-sided traffic. It's a one-sided beatdown from the opening bell on. If Joe Joyce is going to come forward, he's going to get knocked out quick. If he's going to try to box, I don't know how he does that. Right, against a superior athlete who's a better boxer, a better technician, a better jab, a stronger jab, a quicker jab. Like Joe Joyce is out of his league across the board. If you don't believe me, go watch the fights I'm putting in the link. Go watch them. I'm putting the links in the description. Go watch them and tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me what I've gotten wrong and how Joe Joyce wins this fight. Let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below, right? Let me know if you think I'm on the money, if you think I'm overestimating Dubois, if I think I'm underestimating Joyce. And then tell me how Joyce is going to win this fight. Give me the path to victory and how Joe Joyce beats Daniel Dubois. Given all of du- uh, Joe Joyce's fundamental kind of natural weaknesses that he can't overcome like he's slow. And that his punches are telegrams and he shows his punches. Like there's nothing he can he can do. He's got no way to win this fight. You know, <laughs> you know, so let me know what you guys think. Um, leave your thoughts, comments, give me your predictions. Um, and, and, and the good news is this is good for boxing. It's gonna have a lot of eyes on it. This is gonna be especially on the other side. Um, if you guys are home, which maybe Thanksgiving, you get a chance to watch this, check this fight out. It's on the ESPN Plus app. Like, this is a really good fight. Like, it's not a really good fight. It's a one-sided beatdown. But Dubois is something to behold, and it's a big fight, right? It's a big fight where you – you and, like, that's the other thing. Like, I don't think this is Dubois' big coming out party. Like, I feel like boxing heads know how good Dubois is, right? Like, 
this should not be a coming out party. Like we saw that coming out party was last year against Gorman. It was over a year ago. That was last August and September. Uh, we, Cat's out of the bag on, on Dubois. He's phenomenal. He's a freak. Like this guy is the future of the heavyweight division. Right now, today, he may be able to run the gamut in the heavyweight division. Right now, at 22, 20, 23, just turned 23 years old a couple months ago. 23 years old, he could probably run the heavyweight division. He beats Fury today. I mean, he beats Wilder. He beats Joshua. He beats those guys today. I'm not go go watch the video. This guy is a wrecking ball. Um, but again, leave your thoughts, comments. Remember to like and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon to get notifications every time we go live. Every time I, I uh, release a new video. I wasn't gonna do this one, but uh, this fight's getting a lot of attention. And people thinking Joyce is gonna win. Joyce is not gonna win. Joyce is gonna get destroyed. Um, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.